everybody, welcome back to Forza Motorsport 7 with a little bit of a challenge, or should I say, a special. You see, Halloween is fast approaching, so I figure I'll get a bunch of spooky vehicles in the handling department of terror. We have the Twin Mill, 1400 horsepower, pretty much the same torque, rear wheel drive, it's an absolute two-ton monster. And then in the special, we have, well, the looks, the Bone Shaker. It's a mental machine. I love it. It's a lot better handling. And funny enough, it's almost as fast as the Twin Mill on these rainy conditions. Because we got four laps of a rainy spa with one mandatory pit stop. So we got some strategy. We got some controllability. And hopefully, some pretty good racing. But we we shall see. I just don't want to die on a roof. That's the goal. Just don't die on a roof. No. That's, that's what I was expecting. Yep. Wait. We're three wide, four wide. I'm just gonna sneak through there by default, sort of. And undercut, maybe? Sure, you big land barge. Whoa. I got one of them. Got the guy in the black car, but the orange car has escaped away. We're gonna be a little cautious on this first run because there's traffic. Can I sneak it? Nope, I'm not, that's not going to stick. That's not going to stick at all. Well, they, they were slowed by the lap traffic, and I can just get a good run on the orange car there. Oh, that's not nice. I mean, that's technically a way of defending. Not a, not a preferred technique. Where are these people going to break? Oi. We can get the we can get the black vehicle. We can't get that. That's three wide. That's none of my doing. I'm sorry, but that was none of my doing. I actually had to rip the handbrake to make sure I didn't bend in the wall with the pointy nose of this thing. This has not been a great start. In, in terms of starts, there have been better ones. <laughs> but um, we shall see how this goes. He's tangling. He's he's crashed. Or he's had a. Pro I can't turn. I. He's, he's properly murdered him in a wall. That's not very nice of you. You, you pinned him against the wall, mate. That's very rude. We have a good run here. We have a very good run. We have traffic. Eee. Sorry. I'm... S oh, no. We're locked wheels. We're locked wheels. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. Ow. I'm sorry. Back marker. This has been very scrappy. Hey, we got to, hey, we got to full throttle. That was good. We got to full throttle. That doesn't happen very often in this vehicle. Can I sneak out the inside of my fellow pink car? Yes, I'm gonna get around the outside here. Will I have the grip? Uh, not really, but I can make it stick. So that's all that matters. Because we're up the inside here now. We will get that position nicely done. Turn, please. Thank you. The controller is vibrating like mad. You can probably hear that. Let's be real. It's. Oh, very vibrating a lot. <laughs> now, I would say this would really stretch our life, but you can see I'm just not being able to use any throttle. And I have to get on the brakes to make sure I don't die because it doesn't turn. I uh, break the end, so I can't really use any of this massive power. There's stuff behind a back marker. I'm going to capitalize off of their failure to get past them on a high speed corner and say thank you very much for the good run. In fact, they're just now getting past. I'm not stopping. They're all- they're going into the piss. I'm not gonna go into the piss. Wait. So, they have not- so they're going in. Alright. We have a few back markers ahead of us. I'm probably gonna go in next lap. We'll see what happens there. I'm gonna try not crashing anyone on these back markers. Because that would be bad. I need to try and run away from them. Luckily, they're in a fight. Luckily, they're in a fight, which means we should be clear of them. Oh, this thing has no grip. We can break a little bit later in there, but I can't push much faster. I mean, that is 150 miles an hour in most race cars. 130 at least. Hey! But in this, it's 90, and that's slightly terrifying at 90, so... But then once you get on the power, and we're at 100... I was barely breathing on the throttle, that was a terrible entry. And I sh hit 170 miles an hour in this thing. This thing is quick, if you can get the power down. 
which is a very big F. Can we make a move on this guy? I'm gonna try and use our Excel. I'm an idiot. Turn. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm full lock. I, I can't do much more. Well, hey, now we're turning. Now we're turning a lot. This thing is a death trap. I mean, we have a few cars between us. That's good. We haven't really lost any time. And we haven't really gained any time. Oh, and now it's starting to rain really heavily. Because I put on random weather. Or as random as Sports as 7 can get right now. Boy, drift. I mean, that's the way around the corner. It's very spectacular. I'm not sure it's the fastest way. Now it's just going to get even wetter. Which is not ideal for this vehicle. Not ideal at all. It's just... It, it, that's called a late eight, an early apex. That's what we'll say. That's, that was intentional. I mean, it's just absurd. How much power am I actually using? This thing is a dumb idea. This is where I crash. I'm using about 40, about 500 horsepower out of the 1400. There we go. Now we get on the straightaway and we have to use some of that. Oy. Just turn. There we go. Ooh. We're good. We are. No, never mind, never mind, never mind. We're off the track. We're good. Now we're. Now we're sorted out. I'm not gonna go for that on this high. There's no need. There's no need to go for an overtake on this high. I have plenty of time. I'm going into the pits. Are they going in the pits? They are. He is... Oi, okay. That was not nice of you. Right, is anyone not going into the pits at this time? Someone is not. That is interesting. We have a few cars actually not going into the pits. Okay. I seem to be just... I seem to be the only twin mill in the, in the pits right now. Critically though, they have not taken their stock yet, so this will be very, very interesting. We are gonna exit, it looks like we're gonna exit in maybe in sixth, maybe seventh place. Seventh place, okay. Yeah, there goes sixth. Alright. Let's reel them in now. We have fresh tires, which can be a problem, certainly this early in the game. Oi! Yep, there we go. We have two laps to go maximum attack on these guys. Of course, maximum attack also means maximum danger, you know, crashing. And we've already seen a lot of that. Sorry. A lot of that in this race already. So, we shouldn't have any more back markers barring this guy. Once we get past him, that should be the last. And it's just a matter of can we catch? Can we catch up to these guys? And can we overtake them in just two laps? Because that's... Well, I say we have to overtake them. We have to be within range so that when they take their pit stop, we can get out in time. But I fear I'll be caught up by this, be held up by this back marker because he has the acceleration out of these corners. Ironically enough, since he has a lot less power than me, but as same tigers, he can really get on that power when I cannot. And I weigh a quarter ton, if not more, than that thing. Probably a whole ton more than that, if I'm honest. Oi, we on the grass. And I'm gonna get past him here, but that cost me time. That cost me time. In fact, he might actually try and go past me on this because I'm running wide. He didn't quite get it, thankfully, but um, that's what I mean. It's all a matter of losing time. We lost a whole second on that bit. We were 14.5 last and now we're at 15.2, so... This is gonna be interesting, with just a lap and a half left to go. Whoa. Got on the brakes, got on the brakes, got on the brakes. Please, for the love of God, turn. We are actually raising him for position. I don't know if he's taken his pit stop yet. We'll have to wait and see. I know the guys up front have not. They're gonna be going in probably this lap. They'll have to go in this lap, actually, so. I think it's going to be a matter between me and 6th place here, unless he has to go too, in which case, I will be in the lead. Oi. Yep, there, there you go, they're in the pits now, I'm running wide, can't stop. Oh, 
Will he go in? This is the big question. This is the big question. Will I actually have a race here? Will I have been gifted the lead? He will not be going in. Alright, he's taking his pit stops. Oh, there's people going out of the pits. There's people going out of the pit to pits. That is not good. I'm going. Go, 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 go. They're running out. They're running out. Come on, baby. Stop, please, though. There they are. Right there. I think he cleared them. Last lap. Can we overtake this guy? I have a bad exit there. Very bad exit, actually. Whoa. Rain, you know, there was a partial, there was like a 40% chance of partially cloudy with no rain at the end of this. I don't think we got that. 40% chance apparently means zero. No. Nope. Bad time to get wheel spin. Very bad time. Come on. You see, that's what I mean about pushing. I, I, I'm trying to catch up to this guy. And it's not going well because I'm just pushing the thing a bit too hard. We've caught up under braking, but that's compromised me. So he's going to yep, pull away a little bit. It's all a matter of can I get past him with a lap, with two thirds of a lap to go. It is a long lap. It's 4.5 miles, I think. 4.5, something like that. But it's still tricky. We're right on his bumper. We are right on his tail. But it's one thing to catch up. It's another thing to overtake. Especially in, in identical conditions, and even more especially in these conditions. When you're in identical cars, it's very difficult to overtake. And when you're in these weather conditions, we might have a move here. Can be respectful? He's on the outside. He's not going to hold it. There we go. With half a lap to go, we've taken the lead. Will he be able to hold it? That's the question. There we go. Just nice and easy. Don't make any mistakes. I think we're pulling away from him. We just have a little bit more to go. We just have this big straightaway, a few corners, and then the chicane. I'm in the water. That's not ideal. I'm in the puddles. Whoa. We're just drifting the entire way down here. We are actually up now because we're not in traffic. Well, he's keeping us honest. He's, if we make a mistake, he is right there. So we can't make a mistake. That That's not a very costly mistake, but it is a mistake. Got the freaks. I think we got this unless we spin out or something. There's one more quarter to go. Kick the back end out. Helps get us turned. That didn't work. Come on. Come on. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. Ah, ha, ha. Ah. That was close. <laughs> ah. Yeah. Maybe I shouldn't have ripped the hamburg. I probably should have experimented with that in the earlier laps and not heading across the line. That was... A lot closer than I wanted to. Less than a tenth of a second between the two. Less than a tenth of a second. That's all because I got wheel spin on the exit of the corner. Right in the water. I ran wide and I hit the water. And that just kicked the back end. Right. I had no control of my vehicle at all. <laughs> that was good fun. That was very good fun. There, it's, a, it's a special challenge. A special type of racing. A special type of challenge to race uncontrollable vehicles. And this is about as uncontrollable as you can get, so... I think that's a mission accomplished, as a certain guy once said. But, that will be it for this episode of Forza Motorsports 7. I'll be back with more.